at ERA we want to be in the forefront of digitalization and one opportunity to do so if, is of course to present uh, at the sessions here and I had the opportunity to co-chair a highly interesting session on mobile technology and remote um, devices. In this session, which was mainly focused on two, two topics, um, we discussed mobile technologies using photoplethysmography or PPG technology and also remote monitoring by cardiac implantable electronic devices. I would first like to point out one of the studies done by Dr. Tina Prusman, who looked at validation of a PPG device. Now, what was really novel in this study was that she focused on an age group which was above 70 years of age and also included a lot of women. This is very unusual in digital health uh, studies, but actually very much needed as these patients are at the highest risk of a stroke should um, atrial fibrillation be discovered. In a second study, more than 12,000 participants were involved doing PPG registrations from their phones. The interesting thing about this study was that the phone was actually teaching them to improve their registrations as they went along. Uh, so the, the smartphone was using the app to make uh, them smarter in the registrations, which was very interesting. When it came to remote monitoring, um, there were some opportunities in remote monitoring, but also some challenges. The opportunities in particular was shown by an Italian study where they could see that in patients using a heart failure detection, detection um, system in their device, that there was quite a lot of correlation actually with um, clinical um, detection of heart failure. So that could certainly be used for that. Um, on the other hand, um, uh, era president Hein Heinbuchel um, did a study where he could see that patients who had CRTD and remote monitoring that the costs of healthcare did not um, be, was not reduced um, if you did remote monitoring compared to regular in office visits. These results were kind of similar to a large Australian study where they took more than 10,000 patients who had CIEDs implanted and they could see that um, the main alerts were coming from patients who had ILRs implanted. Now these alerts are generally not a sign of a life-threatening arrhythmia, um, whereas those patients who had the devices with the potential um, really to have life-threatening arrhythmias did send a lot fewer alerts. So um, one thing to take away from this session is that we make sure in digital health that we direct the healthcare costs towards those patients who are really in the greatest need.